Hello Akuma fans, Charlie with the Gossiker Application staff. I got a request from a, uh, an online viewer on how to deal with an inserted drill like this that they uh, got, they downloaded the model from Sandvik and they would like to put this into their collision avoidance. That's kind of giving them a rough time. I'll tell you exactly why. For starters, let me uh, hide the body. We've got this is representative of the insert that comes in in the STL and then this is coming in as the the drill and in a previous video I mentioned that uh, you either have to delete the insert or merge the two of them together so they're one solid unit in a case of a drill I totally recommend that you just dump the insert so collision avoidance software does require the machine to to create its own insert so it knows what portion of this solid is okay to touch material. So what we're going to do to try to get around the, uh, the conundrum of a drill is uh, we are going to import this as a holder not as a tool. A tool does require an insert and again collision avoidance wants to create their own but if we call the shank of an inserted drill a holder then we can go in and create our own drill for the end of it and uh, uh, that'll work just fine. So normally I work off of my uh, uh, machine simulator but to uh, to emphasize the easy modeling function I'm going to use the collision avoidance software from Akuma. Screens might look a little bit different to you but don't stress they really are uh, they're darn similar. So first thing I'm going to do here is um, this probably looks familiar to you this is your easy modeling page from your machine tool and I want to bring in the holder so I'm going to read in this case, this is these steps are a little different from my software, but hopefully by now you know how to import a an STL into your uh, into your software. So I'm going to pick up the holder or that the the drill body, importing it as a holder. Allow the uh, software to scan it. There it is, and I'm going to bring it in. Now it resides in my easy modeling and I'm going to create the drill tip as a, a tool. So let's just say I'm going to create a new tool and let's call this a rotating tool of course. It's a drill and now for my definition of this drill I'm going to tell it that the diameter is, well what's the cutting diameter? This particular one is about 13750 and I'm going to say that the shank and the cutting diameter are the same. I could make it smaller, just it really doesn't matter uh, because the cutting diameter is going to be tucked up inside the solid that represents the holder. Now our cutting length on this thing would be straight off of the website. I just grabbed 250 thousandths because yeah, okay, that, that sounds logical. And then we do have to make our overall tool length something greater than that 250. So let's just call it 300 thousandths. And here is a very important portion. The nose angle should be 180 degrees. And let's go ahead and make the shank diameter a little smaller just so that you can see what uh, you can differentiate visually what's shank and what's cutting diameter. Now I'll say OK. And there is our our insert basically. Let's uh, swing it around a little bit so you can see there's that shank but that is going to be tucked up inside the uh, STL for the holder. Everybody's happy. Okay we will save this as an insert drill tip. Now it resides in my easy modeling and I'm going to come back out and register the tool at the machine takes my software just a split second but there we go so this looks similar to what you're doing when you're registering a tool at the machine but let's just follow step by step first we're going to read in our holder and we'll pick up the drill holder that we saw okay there it is and now I will read in 
the tool that I just created, the insert drill tip. Okay. I put them side by side, so I need to extend out by a quarter inch. Uh, that took it all the way to the end. So there I have it all put together, and now I could save it as a set tool if I wanted. Drill 880. And now it's all set and ready to go. Full collision protection uh, with no muss and no fuss, and I don't have to deal with trying to convert that into uh, uh, something a little more complicated. Hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local Gosker application staff. We're happy to help. Thank you.